Our next leading story takes us to Chad, where a forum on institutional reforms kicked off on Monday, led by President Idris Deby Itno. The meeting is a campaign promised by the Chadian head of state, which will run until March the 27th and will have the task of reviewing Chad's political and administrative organization. About 800 pro-government figures are in attendance to discuss, among other issues, the presidential term limits. President Deby Itno is currently serving his fifth term in office, and the current mandate is five years with no limits on re-election. Reports indicate that the opposition and civil society organizations have boycotted this national forum, believing that it is only seeking ways to keep the incumbent in power. Indeed, Lynette, and we will now hear from one of the critics of this forum. Mahmoud Nur Ibadou is an activist and member of the Chadian civil society. He joins us now by phone from N'Djamena. Good morning, Mahmoud. The opposition and part of the civil society to which you belong refused to participate in the forum on institutional reforms, which stated on Monday in N'Djamena, called by President uh, Idris Deby. What are your reasons for your refusal? de participer au, au forum de ce boycott. Nous, nous avons estimé que ce forum est well, this forum is inappropriate in this time of a crisis. In this time of a crisis, it was not necessary to organize a forum on constitutional reform. Because the crisis was so acute that, frankly, the constitutional reform cannot be a priority right now. That is one. Secondly, in any case, this institutional reform for us, who have been aware of the project concocted in advance, we know that uh, Mr. Deby's real motivation is to consolidate his power and to entrench it. You know that he intends to institute two seven-year terms? That in itself is a limitation of the presidential term. It's still Mr. Deby who, is, who reigned for 27 years and wants to move in another 14 years. He's trying to install one of his relatives in the vice president's position, one who will succeed him and who must continue to perpetuate this bad governance. So it's a power that is at risk, clearly. It's like a monarchy. By boycotting this forum, aren't you getting out of uh, the stage? Or isn't it better for you to participate and make your positions heard? We had obviously thought about this possibility of going rightly contested from the interior. But we said by putting our names and signatures on the attendance list, we will have been considered to have participated. And here again, you can imagine that Mr. Deby currently has a hundred or so participants who are aligned with him. There are also traditional chiefs who are practically about the same number who are loyal to him. And there is also the civil society that has been fabricated, known for its proximity to power, and that also makes about a hundred people, in addition to other trades that are loyal to his cause. Naturally, it has... Naturally, he has acquired some protesters who will bring a sprinkle of democracy debate and who will validate this trickery. So we might as well stay away, denounce it. Not endorse it, and that is not give our credit to this forum. You've planned to launch a counter forum on the 23rd of March. Won't this be a source of tension, given the social situation the country is going through at the moment? Is this not a new source of tension when we know that the country traverses just a lot of tension, a situation, a crisis difficult for a few months? I don't believe it's a source of tension because we have the right to contest the resolution of this forum. 
and we have the right to make our opinion known. We are not disturbing public order here. We are not touching anything. We are only exercising our fundamental rights, namely the right to hold a contrary opinion. Je vous remercie d'avoir accepté de Thank you for agreeing to respond to our questions, Mr. Ibedo, Mahmoud Nou Ibedo, a civil society activist in Chad, speaking from the capital in Jamena.